Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee variation on a pattern called the raven. Now the raven is a Canadian fly. Um, that's it there. It's a wee fly there. It's a very unusual colour combination. So I'm just going to show you how to put it together. I think it might work for the dalagon. So any of you chaps out there that fish for the dalagon might want to tie this up for your for your fly box. So the hook in the vise is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double in black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in red. So we're just going to come in, get the thread started a couple of mil behind the eye. Now, I'm just going to run our thread down as the tail goes on this fly first. Once you let the thread go, you're just shy of the point of the hoop. It's not actually at the point of the hoop. We know four or five turns and we'll go there. Now the tail on the fly is just red, red cock hackle fibers. This is just a an old Chinese cock hackle cape that I have in red. So just take away the rubbish at the bottom. Bring out the hackle fibers from the stem. And then just take a couple of pinches. Just depends how thick you like your tails in your fly. Uh, the length of the tail, it's your own personal preference, it's up to you. I'm going to probably just tie this in round right about the the length of the hook, meaning from the eye to the bend over the back. And I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop and then a couple of turns to hold. Then I'll come in and and trim the remaining the remainder of the cock haggle and a bit of a tapered cut. Now the first part of the tag is flat tinsel and this is just the uni mailer silver and gold that I'm using. So we'll tie this in now. now you want the if you're using the silver side tie it in with the gold side facing yourself and if you want to use the gold side Tie it in with a silver side facing yourself. So I'm just going to tie that in and run my thread up a couple of mil. And then I'm just going to come round with a nice straight turn onto the tail. I just want to check that. Okay, happy enough with that. And then just one more turn. Yeah, that's plenty. That'll do you there. Throw it across with your thread. Get a couple of turns in the secure that in and then come in and trim away the excess the next part of the tail or of the tag on the original pattern is a red floss now, i'm going to use a pink glow bright floss and you could use number one or number two that's the darker pink and that's the fluorescence. So I'm going to use number two. Just wanted to show you that. Now, just come in and take a length off the spool. I'm going to tie this in with a sweet tag over the back. I'm going to use that as a bit of extra security to hold the glow bright floss for me to stop it from slipping. Now, a couple of turns, fold the glow bright floss back. And then run your thread up another couple of turns now. I'm just going to have to come back a wee bit just to level this bit off. Don't want any lumps and bumps. Yeah. Just keep that straight. And then we'll just come round with overlapping turns of the glow bright floss to create the second part of the tag. To there. Follow it around with your thread. A couple of turns to secure. Yeah. I'm going to trim this once the length of the body and then this wee bit here just fold this over now I'll just give that tag a wee bit of auto protection you could just stick on um, UV resin if you wished or some varnish or super glue it's up to you just wanted to show you another technique now I'm just going to run my thread forward just tying everything in, making sure I'm trying to get a nice smooth body as possible. 
and then on the way back down I'm going to tie in my rib which is a small oval silver tinsel so we'll just take a length of this off trim that away just going to offer this in um, underneath the hook on the way back down so a couple of turns will catch that in and just bring it in underneath the shank and just work your thread back down tied up against your glow bright floss part of your tag the body is just uni floss just plain rayon floss in black to show you the spool that's it there uni floss in black so we're just going to tie this in just pull it into the length of the the body and just run your thread up tying this in it's an unusual colour combination this wee fly but I'm just trying to level this body off here a wee bit there's just a wee bit of a lump there but if it works for the Canadian boys it'll work over here and I think it might work for the Dalgan so just thought I would show you it just a bit of fun now I'm just going to bring up the floss the length of the body probably this across from the thread couple of turns to hold and secure come in and trim away the excess then we can bring up our rib I know you're looking three four turns on the body there's plenty up to there it's probably the cross from the thread one turn to hold a couple of turns to secure come in remove the waist piece now, the wing is just grey squirrel tail dyed blue. Dyed this nice blue. So we're just going to take enough off to create our wing. It's plenty. Come in, trim that away, close tight that stem. Now, just remove any rubbish from the bottom. Now, you don't need to stack it. You can just put that all the way it is if you wish. It's up to you. I just like to stack my squirrel. Sometimes when I'm tan wings particularly in flies like this now I'm just going to give this a rattle on my desk all the tips have lined up so just take it out of the horse stagger now hey, folks if you don't have a designated tan desk or room or whatever you're tan on the good lady's table don't be rattling the horse stagger on it because you might rattle a heady so be warned now the length of the wing it's up to you. You can have it long, short. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm just going to have my wing coming sort of way halfway, just over halfway in the material. So I'm just going to hold it here, my finger and thumb. Come in with my scissors. Just trim the excess over my bin. Come back in and get the squirrel as close to the shank of the hook as you can, and then just come round with a pinch and loop. These are nice tight turns now. Just to hold the squirrel in place. Okay, now squirrel has a tendency to pull out, so it's best to put on a wee like a varnish or in this case super glue onto your thread. And then I'm just gonna bring this down over the cut ends of the squirrel. Just making sure it's well secured in. Now, if there's any access just come in and wipe that away now there's flash in the wing and it's black crystal flash the stuff here if you don't have that use whatever flash you have so i have two strands on my desk here from that last fly that i just showed you so i'm just gonna offer it up into the wing around with a pinch and loop and turn the hole I'm going to fold the access back. I'm going to leave this all in. Just going to come in and trim it to the length that I like. Just tighten up. Now, on the original pattern, it was a white polar bear hair that was used for the throat. I'm just going to use a white cock haggle. This is just a Chinese white cock haggle. Right. Just take off a couple of pinches again you can have your throat short as long as you like as well so you can have it short you can have it long it's up to you 
and I'm just going to have mine coming past the, the silver tag. So just going to hold this in underneath and then I'm going to come around with a pinching loop and then a couple of turns just to hold and I'm just going to spin it around I like to come in and just spread it out with my nail make sure it's sitting nice for me just going to tighten up with another couple of turns and I'm going to come in with my scissors and just trim away the excess now there's some flash in this so it's pink crystal flash it's using the original pattern this is just the the blue UV crystal flash that I'm using so I'm just going to put two strands into the throat so I'm just going to offer these up less the length than the throat than the hackle fibers I'm going to come around with a pinching loop I'm going to bring the thread turns down to the eye and what I want to do is I want to fold this, I want to fold these back for security underneath. And then I want to bring the thread turns back up over the flash. Now I'm creating my head here at the same time. Put a little bit of nice neat head on the fly. Now, keep a hold of these two strands. Or you can leave them in if you want. I'm just taking mine out. Trim those away. Just moisten them to get the fly. But it does for the next fly. Now, Wee bit of the white haggle still showing through so just want to cover this up make sure that the head's nice and neat right, bring it back right into focus happy enough with that and just keeping the thread tight i'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish pull the thread nice and tight come in trim away the excess then the first coat on the head super glue just to seal everything up just on the head don't want this gear anywhere else just get it the whole way right round hey i know the wee fly looks unusual because of the color combination and we're probably not used to seeing flies this color well i know i'm not over here in northern Ireland. so I think that that might work for the Dalekin guy, so tie a few up, and if you catch a few Dalekin on it, let me know how you get on, um, and thanks for watching the video.